Welcome boys and girls. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is time for church. It is time to praise God. So make sure you listen very well and make sure you dance along and you sing along to all of the worship songs. And also there might be a little bit of a prize included if you get all the answers on the Bible quiz. So make sure that you're paying so much attention and make sure that you clear some space as well so you can dance and you can sing along as well. And parents, please make sure to encourage and to support all of the, the boys and the girls who are doing their quizzes and to help them with a pen and a paper so that they can get all as many questions as they can onto their paper and to send it in to us where we can check out all of the answers and to make some make any corrections if possible hello boys and girls welcome back to solid Trap children's church how are you doing hope your parents you know your loved ones are all doing very well and how are your friends in school you know after the easter holiday i hope you were so happy to see all your friends i can just imagine well this is your teacher florence oriton and i'm going to go through the uh program with you and then i will see you at the lesson so you know we always start with the worship and then we have the memory verse we're going to have a quiz and that story and after the story i will be going through the lesson with you today okay so I'll see you soon and God bless you. And now we go into a time of worship. Make sure you stand up and praise. Hello friends. It's good to be here today. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Tell your friends, tell your sisters and brothers and mom and dad, wherever you are, say, I am H-A-P-P-Y. Let me hear you say, I am H-A-P-P-Y. One more time, say, I am H-A-P-P-Y. Somebody scream, yeah. So we're going to do a simple song. It says, oh, happy day. Just move to the right. Uh, to the left, let's go. away oh happy day everybody say oh happy day oh happy day uh, oh happy day oh happy day one more time say oh happy day oh happy day say when jesus was when jesus was when jesus was when jesus was he washed my sins away
we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Hi, my name is Joy and today I'll be doing a memory verse, Luke 7 verse 46. You neglected the olive oil and anointed my head, but she anointed my feet with rare perfume. I tell you her sins are very many, but I have been forgiven so she loves me much. But people who have only been forgiven little love little. And then God said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. Stories of the Bible, Jesus and the Sinful Woman. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees named Simon asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay, sounds good. So Jesus went over to his house and a certain sinful woman heard that he was eating there. She went to the house and brought a jar filled with expensive perfume. She kneeled at Jesus' feet and cried. Her tears fell on his feet and she wiped them with her hair. She kissed his feet and put the perfume on them. Simon saw this and said to himself, Yeah. If this man really were a prophet, he'd know what kind of woman is touching him. She's a sinner. Blah. Then Jesus said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Ah, uh, okay. And he told him this story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, Thank you. and 50 pieces to the other. Yeah, thanks. Oh, hello again. But neither of them could repay him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So he kindly forgave them both. Eh, that's okay. Canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon said that the one who owed him more loved him more. Jesus said, Yep. That's right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water or wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven, so she has shown me much love. But a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, Your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, Who is this man? that he goes around forgiving sins. And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Welcome back boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that story. Wow, that's a very, very interesting story, if you ask me. Now, in this story, we have seen that it was uh, Simon, you know, one of the Pharisees that invited Jesus to his house. If, normally when you invite someone in, in, into your house, in that culture, you know, in those days, you invite them and you honor them by washing their feet, you serve them food. But you know what? With the Bible passage, you know, read, I mean, I hope you listen to the memory verse because that's where you will get to where the lesson is taken from. So the lesson today is taken from the book of Luke chapter 7. Okay, so let me continue. Now, Simon didn't do any of that. Didn't wash Jesus' feet. Neither did he invite him to the table. Because his purpose for inviting Jesus over was actually to question him. Remember, in, in at the time, Jesus, you know, is the Messiah. But the Pharisees, these were the people that are so religious, you know, that are so religious. They believe more in what they have 
you know, in, 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 in their, uh, you know, in what the story that they've heard about Abraham and all of that. So when Jesus came, they didn't even see him as the Messiah. So he invited Jesus to actually question him. And do you know what? A woman heard this. We heard in that uh, the, the topic of the of the, of the lesson of the story says a sinful woman. So this was a woman known in town to be, you know, the sinner of town. Came and, you know, what did she did was a heart of service, heart of love. You know, she wet Jesus's feet with her tears. She washed, you know, Jesus's feet with her he, with her hair, and again she. Pour, you know, very expensive alabaster oil on Jesus' feet. You know, that is a sacrifice. That is worship. You know, but to many of us, you know, we will not, we might not understand this story so well because we are kids, right? But I want you to know one thing. And the thing is that Jesus, you know, knows our heart. He knows our heart. He knows the thought of our heart. He knows what Simon was talking about, thinking about when he was saying, oh, you know, thinking in his heart, not knowing that Jesus was actually reading his mind that, oh, this sinful woman doing all this to his feet. Oh, my gosh. I hope, you know, Jesus knows the kind of woman this is. And this is why Jesus had to reply to Simon and said, you know, actually spoke it out and said, you know, oh, and he gave that illustration that if two people are hoeing somebody, you know, who would if and they are if, if they cannot pay and they are pardoned, who do you think will appreciate it more? Is it the person that holds that hold more, or is it the person that holds less? Because according to Simon, Simon believed that he is less of a sinner than that woman, you know. But Jesus could see the heart, the love in the heart of that woman, and he forgave her, you know, her sins. So boys and girls, God knows the thought of your heart. And you know what? God is able to forgive us all our sins. So don't let us be so judgmental of other people that we think, oh, they have the worst attitude. They have the worst, worst habit because we all fall short. But thank God for the love of God. God bless you, boys and girls. I hope you're blessed and I'll see you very soon. How you doing? Yeah, so it was Easter last week and I hope you had a nice time. So, you know what time it is right now. It's quiz time and we get into the quiz questions. Make sure you answer all of them as best as you can. So the first question, what was the name of the Pharisee who invited Jesus to his house to eat? What was the name of the Pharisee who invited Jesus to his house to eat? A. Paul B. John C. David D. Simeon Next question. Who washed Jesus' feet at Simeon the Pharisee's house? Who washed Jesus' feet at Simeon the Pharisee's house? A. A sinful woman. B. Simeon's wife. C. C Jesus' mother. D. Simeon's daughter. Take it again. A. A sinful woman. B. Simeon's wife. C. Jesus' mother. D. Simeon's daughter. Next question. How did the woman wash Jesus' feet? A. Wash them with her hair, tears and dry them with her hair. A. Washed them with her tears and dry them with her hair. B. With hair shampoo. C. With shower gel. D. With soap and water. And the last question. Why did the sinful woman wash Jesus' feet? Why did the sinful woman wash Jesus' feet? A. Simeon had not washed them and also in thanks to Jesus for forgiving her sins. B. Simeon was going to do it later. C. 
Jesus' feet was dirty. D. Jesus asked her to. And those are all the questions for today. As always, send your homework in to the church email at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. Have a lovely, 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 lovely time. Just kidszone at solidrockdublin. As always, send your homework in to the church email at kidszone at solidrockdublin.org. Establish my covenant with you. To do something like you and our father, God is all knowing. That means He knows everything. He went he knows ahead, everything. He knows tomorrow and art. Like, I'm so telling you, like, you're, you're so seen out. Like, you're so guess what? You know, you're just big all this.